what's up guys and everything this is war on a little video on a subject of why I use a PF sense router now this is just a older router no real relevance really too much on how everything is all set up now typically how you set up a router you know you got idiot box that pretty much is fail proof that anybody with reading abilities could set up then you've got firewall applications and stuff for people now right now i have this hooked up just for giggles and everything which i will end up using just for a couple days or whatever I, I bought this thing off my buddy for like five bucks so but it was you know it's a router what do you expect and my whole thing was a lot of times people's internets are basically throttled to the point where their actual router that they get from that they go out and buy is actually holding them back and it's due to it's just not powerful enough like you're trying to play a game and it's sitting there lagging you have like no fps whatsoever and you're like what the heck's going on here right and it's because it doesn't have the cpu or gpu to push it and the same thing goes to a router. Right now, my router is doing absolutely nothing. 3% CPU usage. And look, look, it's only 500 some megahertz RAM, 200 some megs, and 32 megs flash. Okay, and this is updating in real time. So I'm going to, you know, turn my phone on because I ain't done that today yet and we're gonna see the cpu usage if we go and just punch up a random youtube video i would do it on this one but i don't want to get off the screen because it's got other settings that i'm not too particularly okay with sharing to every person in the world But, mm, man, you're a slow phone. For the most part, we are going to have just a random YouTube video because why not? And we will see how much bandwidth this actually is destroying. A nice 1080p video. And we'll start just... And this is just coming off of, fan, of one particular... Yeah, that looks cool. And... Oh my gosh, really? Come on. Okay, so we've got this playing and everything else. And this is pretty long. It's 1080p. I want the maximum quality. Yep, okay. So this is a phone just playing it by random. Okay, so let's go back to our thing. And this is using now 4% CPU. Is that right though? Um, no, 6% CPU. So just a phone running a YouTube video uses that much. So, Oh, 
let's get you guys on that because I don't want to lose my channel on some silly photo so let's get a speed test going okay just a random speed test and we will check it now my internet is not as great as you guys and it's just one computer so I get okay sometimes now this is a this router and we're going to put them side by side okay just doing a speed test we've already hit 25 percent of our router and this is only one person okay this is on a wired connection too well actually it's two people we've got the phone doing the youtube thing and the speed test being done on this computer which is a wired connection directly to it now yeah that's that's about the best my internet will ever get right there seriously guys that it's it's really that crappy it's sad but you seen that it hits 30 some percent just with a speed test a speed test are you kidding me with the 35 meg 37 meg and 10 upload actually my uploads are really good right now I'm, I'm actually surprised but this is on a wired connection okay this has got a gigabyte in and a hunt 110 you know it should be pretty much through and through the ping is a little high for me right now but this proves to you I would get these speeds on my PF Sense build, but my ping would be far, far less. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a wire connection with this, okay? Which is an end router with gigabort, gigabyte ports and stuff. I mean, it's a TZ210 wireless end router, okay? I'm not using the wireless, I'm using the wired which is as fast as it should possibly go okay I don't have problems with it being too slow or dropping out or any of that other stuff but this tells me with this that with my phone and my computer which isn't streaming or anything that's high intense uses 25 so when i'm streaming this thing would probably hit 50 percent easy because i'd be streaming at like 1080p or something if i'm coding it'd probably be 720 it's not going to be super high depth because you don't need that much depth you're just watching a screen and typing right so it's not really super refreshing rate you know and with that kind of speed, you know, constant download, upload, it's probably really, really bad. I probably smashed this router literally all the time. So, what do we gather with it? 500 megahertz on that thing is, it doesn't tap it out, but just with two devices, you can already see. And if we look online right now, most, even with the Hawkins one, it comes with a dual core, which would be more than enough CPU power. But my thing about it is, my PF Sense build is using equipment that's over what maybe a little dual core has been around for how long? I can't even probably since 2011. Okay, 2011. All right. 
So, and that wireless in router has probably been around this whole time. So, with that being thought of, if I were to just flat out buy a computer right now, or just build one that has a quad core in it, right? With the growth that we have right now, and we have gigabit ports on it, my router, if it doesn't blow up or anything like that and get wore out and I take care of it, my PS Sense build could possibly last me with no slowdowns and if they keep supporting their product, which they probably will, it could last me over well over five years with no slowdown. Where? If I kept with the sonic wall and everything else, how many times do you actually buy a router? I'm not going to lie, I don't buy one very often. Probably I should buy more. Now that I actually really think about it, I probably should just buy one, what, maybe every couple years or so. But still, even at that, that sonic wall isn't super old I mean it's older than hills to my standard AC technology has been out what maybe four years now but it the the point of it mostly is it's on a wire connection that should be pretty much through and through it shouldn't have problems with a wired one and the wireless I could see that one because it takes a lot more performance to run a wireless because it's got a whole dedicated chip for it with radio and uh, network translation going on and everything like that 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 technology you know isn't as old as just the traditional router you know wired you know, Wired has been around for, oh man, um, since DSL was a thing. <laughs> yeah, since DSL was a thing. How long ago was that? Um, very, very long time. So, it should run the best because so many iterations and things. But my point is, if you bought a router, you'd have to replace it quite often. Where if you built one, just just think about it. If you've done a quad core right now, on a serious note, quad core right now, 3.4 gigahertz, let's say. Quad core. I have never seen more than 10% CPU usage on my PS Sense build. And that was with me using my phone, two computers, PF blocker, all kinds of stuff on it. I mean, I seen when they first connected, like, first connected like discovering them and stuff like that it got high but just the straight through through router stuff it it hardly ever breaks the sweat so if I you know get me a board and put let's say a wireless card and two four port nicks in it which all that right now I could probably find it all new used slash everything I could put it together probably for $160 where a real good wireless AC 
big old boy right now. I've seen those routers with high CPU usage isn't in them. They're they're supposed to be for gaming. They're like three hundred some dollars or two hundred, depending on which brand you go with and everything like that. But holy freaking crap! Who in the world has that kind of money laying around for a router for their house? I mean, granted, you don't buy them very often, but who who has that kind of money to throw around for absolutely nothing, right? For, for something that doesn't do as much. You know, for me, a wireless router only is good for my phone so I don't use data okay a phone so yeah that's my thoughts on it so guys I hope this is more revealing to you I know it's not like the big old classy I don't have a webcam or anything like that to you know like do some movements or some cool animations or anything like that and I apologize for that but I just want to bring it up to you that this is probably a better solution for you save yourself some money build your router because we're going to be doing it and I am not joking I will seriously build one before I buy one ever again so thanks for watching guys. Peace out everybody. And I hope this helps you in the long run. And thanks for watching. This is War. Over and out.